Hi guys, in this video tutorial we are going to see how the rectangular light works on some of their properties. Um, I want to create a rectangular light using the this icon in the view right toolbar. Click there. I'm going I'm going to use this line as a reference. So I'm going to create the line there. If you want to get access to the uh, rectangular light properties, just right click on the light and select this reference captured and then edit light. So this is the light editor. You can see the color intensity. Um, this option here changed the color of the lights. So, for example, if you want a warm light, just change the color to a warm color. Uh, if you want to increase the intensity of the light, just change the intensity value. And also, we support different units, so you can use a lumens or you can use wax. Also, we have the a sampling area. Um, the subdivide subdivision control the quality of the of the shadows. Sometimes you are going to get uh, noise on the shadows, and by increasing this value, you are going to reduce the, the noise. But the first thing that I want to point out is the no decay. In our previous uh, version, we have no decay enabled by default, and I want to show you what this option really uh, does. The no decay allow you to have the a very constant light uh, around the whole room um, this is not what happened in the real world so the object closer to the camera are going to have the same amount of illumination of the object further away from the camera uh, if you see here in this room we have a very flat illumination and this is not very good so that's why we change the these options to uh, disable by default the Omni lights and the spotlight have different decay, linear, um, inverse, and inverse square. The rectangular light only have these options, no decay. But if you have the no decay enabled, you are using linear uh, decay. If you have the no decay disabled, you are using inverse square decay. So right now, if I click Fender, you are going to see that my object closer to the camera has more illumination than my object further away from the camera. One very important thing about the rectangular light is that you can see the reflections of the light in the uh, material that have reflections because the light has a physical uh, geometric form. That doesn't, that doesn't happen with the Omni light on IS light and spotlight. Um, okay, I want to go to the edit again and we have double side options. These options allow you to get, get illumination in the front face, front face and also on the back face. You can see here I only have uh, illumination in my front face but with double size enable I will get um, lights in both sides of my um, geometry. See here we have uh, lights in my back plane. Um, let's go back to my light editor and I want to uh, show you uh, the in invisible and at the same time I'm going to show you the store iridium maps. Invisible, let's make that the invisible the light from the camera so you are not going to see the light in your render. You are going to see the, the illumination but not the actual rectangular lights. And store iridium map allow you to uh, calculate the light effects using the uh, iridium maps. So that's mean that you are going to have a faster render, and the shadows are going to be smoother. You can see here we have some noise. No matter that I have in low quality, you can see some noise. I mean, this is because I have uh, low quality, but you are going to see that when I render this uh, scene with store iridium map. Um, because I'm using the iridium map to calculate the rectangular lights, I'm going to have less noise on the shadows area. You can see here, and I have a faster render too. So this is very cool to use uh, store iridium map and also invisible. You can see here, I'm not seeing the light in the render, but I'm still getting the illumination. Okay, so I'm going to right click again in the light and um, show you one last uh, option is affect reflections. If you disable this guy, let me enable the invisible. If you disable this uh, affect reflection, you are not going to see 
the reflections on my teapot on the reflective object, no matter that you have the light in the, in the wall or wherever you have the light. You can see here, I don't have the reflections. This option, um, in combination with invisible light, is very uh, useful to when you have to play to place the light on the wall, on the on the windows, and just disable the effect reflections, and also make the light invisible to see your background or to see what you have behind the windows. Okay, this is what we have for this part so I'm going to open a new file and I will want to use those options that I show you to render a very simple scene here we go this is the scene that I want to render as you can see it's just a fake interior just open and the first thing that I want to do is just create a rectangular light for my lamps click on the rectangular light and I want to create um, this small rectangular light I want to place the rectangular light just right in the middle of the lamp and also I want to move this light just right in the center of the lamp and because I need illumination in all directions I want to duplicate the light but first I'm going to uh, change the properties let me use 30 for my intensity so my light is going to be for intensity and also I'm going to use a very a warm color store irradiant maps and double size because I need light in front of my light and also in my back then I want to uh, rotate to create another copy of the light in order to create like kind of a 360 uh, illumination of my light uh, the next step is just create a rectangular light in my ceiling again I have a reference lines that I uh, made just to uh, have the correct uh, location and also I want to create another light in this area okay then I want to enter to the properties again to edit the properties change the intensity 3 uh, large light produce more illumination so you're going to need less multiplier let me change the color to a cool color also store it real maps I don't need to make this line visible and again I want to do the same thing with the top light change the intensity to 3 also store it real maps and that's it okay I'm going to show you the render without um, light at all and then I'm gonna make a render to see what we have with the light Okay, this is the render without any light. I only have the, uh, the GI enabled with a multiplier of 1 just to show you the, the effects of the light. And also I have an HGRI in my background to, show, to cast some reflections. Okay, now I place the light. I'm going to render this scene to see uh, my final result with two rectangular lights to illuminate the room. Because my room is very dark and also two rectangular light to illuminate the lamp this lamp here have a two side material so I should get uh, a nice translucency effect in my lamps here we go this is the final result you see a nice illumination probably you have to increase the intensity of the light or just click on the color corrections option here so we have a nice color corrections and then change the or correct the color or, or the illumination they are just like that and you don't have to render your scene again so this is what we have for you guys hopefully you can enjoy this video so see you next time and bye bye